everybody, Jason from Manawa Brew here. Happy Homebrew Wednesday. Really need to find someone to plant my camera. Um, what's going on this week? Not much. Dry hopped the Orange Cascade Pale Ale last night. Took some footage of that, but decided not to use it. Because I had my phone around the wrong way, so it was all skinny and looked dumb. Um, so that's dry hopped with... 57 grams, I think, of uh, New Zealand Cascade. So, I'm going to let that sit at 18 degrees for the next two days. So, tomorrow, maybe Saturday morning, I'll um, chuck it in that fridge there. That's my uh, <coughs> keg fridge, cold crashing fridge. It used to be my fermentation fridge, but when you get kegs, you need to keep them cold, right? Um, so that's about it on the brew front. Um, what else has been happening? Caught up with a lovely fellow from Hamilton on Sunday, just gone. Uh, met up with Richard from yeah, Hamilton at uh, my local. Um, Sopped a couple of beers, had a good yarn. Yeah, that no, was good. So um, I'm going to try one of his beers now, live on camera, as you do. Uh, Try and get you set up a little bit so I'm not so um, dark. Be right back. It's as good as I can do. Seems to have misplaced my bottle opener. <coughs> so this is uh, an IR, IR3. Irish Red. Um, I did a swap season before with Richard on an Irish that I did for a um, very dear friend of ours that was lost to a motorcycle accident. Um, this year's version didn't really turn out all that good, so apologies for that, Richard. This year's, next year's version will be uh, back to the original using a British yeast liquid as well instead of, um, instead of fluffing about with dry yeast. I'll just go and crack this bottle. Be right back. Bye. Cracked it. Mm. There we go. Now the old head decides to turn up. Fairly vigorous pour. Dark. You can sort of see it in the light there. Dark brown, not too much red in there. Excuse the dirty glass. Um, that's right though. Might have a little bit of haze in there from uh, sitting in the fridge for a couple of days. But uh, cheers. the money shop. Not much aroma <coughs> coming off it, but the um, flavour you see it's got fuggles and goldings and uh, I did a golding smash quite a while ago that I sent out the chubby the exploding bottle if you've seen that I'll put a link down below. Um, <coughs> that's, the, that's the sort of taste I get and a real nice toffee hit from the malt. It's, um, it's really good man. Almost chewy. Um, it's quite thick. It's really. That's good. And the head, after it's given a bit of a uh, swirl up, seems to stick around quite nicely. But yeah, no, <clears throat> no distinct aroma that I can tell. There's no Irish reds I've done in the past. You get a little bit of hop, and a little bit of the. Um, Malt coming through, but not too much of that. But phew, that's right. I'd, I'd probably pay for that. Yeah, it's all right. We'll see if we can get a um, decent go of the colour. Let me just switch cameras. Hang on. 
there. Nice and uh, it's a little bit some red hue in there. It looks looks pretty good. Almost a uh, light brownish colour. Bit of an angelic view there with the light, but she'll be right. Yeah, so he's given me another couple of beers to try that I'll um, get to at some point and do some um, do some reviews on. It's always nice to have feedback on your beer. Um, Sopped him some beers as well and plucked him some hop extract to try and get rid of it. I still got far too much there, eh? Just, excuse me, won't be able to use it all. So, again, if anyone in New Zealand wants any, flick me a PM. Not too, I'm not too keen on sending hop extract, is it? <coughs> Misguided youth, it looks like something else that I partook in. Um, so, I'm not too keen on sending it uh, internationally. But, uh, give you a sneak peek. Yeah. So I'm sure I'm not the only one that partook in uh, stuff that looks a little bit like that, so I'm sure you can understand. <clears throat> yeah, if you're interested in New Zealand, flick me a PM. Preferably on uh, Google+, Plus, because YouTube's a dick. And uh, I never see anything that comes through there, so yeah, um, sure we can come to some agreement, just swap a beer or two or something, so I can send you some down. Um, Thirty-seven point five percent alpha acid. So <clears throat> from all the reading I've done, you you don't need a hell of a lot, and can only be used for bittering. Maybe wrong, no idea. Haven't used it. And right on cue, the rain. Right, so. Um, I'm going to put some footage on from Sunday. Uh, went to what's called Humble Night at the Celtic. It's um, awful. So that's steak and kidney, trot, trotters, lamb's and bacon, black pudding, white pudding, sweetbreads, but most importantly, haggis. Um, and they have a haggis ceremony. So I'm going to tack that on the end of this. So this is, uh, this is it from me. Uh, shout out this week goes to Richard. Cheers for coming down. Uh, I knew you were coming down for work anyway, but good of you to meet up, and uh, so yeah, here's to drinking good beer. Cheers. Your hoodies, 
like a distant hill, your pin would help to mend the mill in time of need, but through your pores the Jews distill like amber beads. His knife, seen rustic labour decked, and cut ye up with ready slack, trenching your gushing entrails breath like ony ditch, and then all oh, for the glorious sight, warm, reeking, mm. rich. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> then horn for horn they stretch and strive, <coughs> deal tack the hindmost on they drive, to all their wheel swell kites belay that brent like drums, then our goodman must like to rive. We thank it comes. Is there the door is French ragout? Or all you that would store so? Or fricassee would make her spew a perfect scunner? Looks done with steam, scornful view on no, second dinner. Here, deal. Sam her is trash. Is yeah, deal. Yeah, 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 yeah. As feckless as a weathered rash. A spindle shank, a good whiplash, has nave and knit. Through bloody flood, our field to dash. Ah, oh, how unfit. But mark, the rustic haggis fed. <laughs> the trend on earth resounds his tread. Clapping his willy name, a blade he'll mark it whistle. And legs and arms and heads all sned, like taps a thristle. Ye powers, wha mark mankind your care, and dish them out their bill of fare. All Scotland wants nae skinkin' wear the chops and luggies. But if ye wish her grateful prayer, gee her. Uh, I guess. I guess. I guess.